Okay, this is for all my fellow club members. Y'all know we family who have interstitial cystitis of the bladder. I just had today what's called a bladder installation. You go in, they put lidocaine to numb the area. They put betadine to clean the area down there around the vaginal area. They take a small tube and they put it into the bladder. They empty the bladder. Then they take two Elmeron capsules. Elmeron is a drug. It's supposed to help coat the bladder lining to help heal the bladder. They put in a liquid. They instill it into the bladder. Now they tell you, try not to go to the bathroom for a while because the medication has to stay in the bladder for a while and work. You know what? Very, very little pain because of the lidocaine. I was a little scared, but you know what? I did it anyway because I want relief. But with interstitial cystitis, the biggest thing is you have to change your mindset. I know it's hard. I know it's painful. However, don't give in to it. Don't sit there and wallow in it. Behavioral therapy is not a matter of popping a pill. You got this. We're in this together. You can do it. Um, honestly, when I was first diagnosed with interstitial cystitis, I was depressed. I actually got, I was starting to have some suicidal thoughts. I told myself, stop. But you know what? Whenever you're going through something, you're supposed to be down. You can be mad, sad, depressed. You can even be mad at God. He can take it. However, do your best not to stay that way. Go through those negative emotions because what you resist will persist. But as soon as you can, get back up. I had to make, I had to, I had to, I had to make a choice. Forgive me because I do stutter. Do I have interstitial cystitis of the bladder or does it have me? I made up my mind. I have it. It don't have me. That's when the behavioral therapy comes in. You have to change your mindset. It's everything in terms of how you're going to recover. I drink water now. I didn't before. I bet my ass drink it now. That's a part of it. I had to stay away from certain foods. It's a lot of soda. It's not a matter of what I feel like anymore. In other words, you guys, I had to turn it into a positive. I was in such a negative place. I said, no, 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 no. Not with my mental health history. I definitely know how to get up and take care of myself. Hey, ladies. How are you? <laughs> Fine. Yeah, but um, if I hadn't built myself up so much emotionally, mentally, um, it would have been worse for me. I just had to come to the determination. I want to thrive, not survive. I want that life more abundantly that the Bible says we all can have. However, with you and God, it's a partnership. You gotta meet God minimum halfway. All right, guys, I just had the bladder installation and I'm doing good. I asked her, can I resume activities? Can I go to Zumba? She said, yes. Last week, you guys, I went to Zumba. I literally was almost holding on to the wall. I was in so much pain. But I told myself, no, you gonna stay. I stayed the entire Zumba class, an hour. And do you know afterwards, I actually felt better. I had a little bit of less pain. And my doctor said, that's okay. In other words, I just have to, we, we, you have to push through it. Don't just lay there and wallow in it. But some days if you just like, this sucks, you, you have a pity party, you sad, depressed, give yourself that for about five minutes and then get back up. All right, you guys, have a blessed and wonderful day. God takes us through stuff so we can get up and help someone else. He comforts us so we can comfort someone else. It's such a beautiful day. I came out here, I'm like, it's such a beautiful fucking day. All right, you guys, take care. I hope I helped, stay blessed. I did it, I changed my mindset. So can you, it's a choice.